Hey, what's up, everybody? Luke. Uh, I was just watching a bunch of MMA stuff earlier, so I started giving myself a nickname in my head. Like if I was uh, like a boxer, like Floyd Money Mayweather or uh, something. You know how they have it. Cool Hand Luke, I guess is what they'd have to call me. But I think like Luke the Hitman Venters would be, it kind of like rolls off the tongue better. Anyway, as you can see by my extreme amount of perspiration, I am wrapping up another set at the gym. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning or something like that. And um, yeah, having a good night. Got my Mary shirt on. Had a long day today. Uh, was at home and then I didn't get enough workout earlier so I came back after um, I was at my house. So, did a good set today. Did a uh, hundred reps on my triceps and then a hundred rows and uh, I jogged for about an hour. I decided to row at the end instead of finish out an hour of, of jogging. I was just tired of being on the treadmill. So, it's good to go for time instead of uh, distance. Like, oh, I'm gonna run five miles or whatever, but instead just keep doing like an hour of a day. Because as your pace improves, you could finish five miles, you know, like faster, a lot faster than um, previously or whatever. So anyway, I just thought I'd say hello and make a nice little video for you guys and tell you I stretched a lot today while I was watching my Floyd May Mayweather MMA fights and stuff on, I was upstairs like stretching my... Uh, hip adductors, my quads, my calves really well, and um, my flexibility is pretty good for like a big, it's improving, you know, it's for a big guy, it's pretty good. I can almost kick the ceiling, which is nice, I mean, that's a marketable skill in certain parts of the world, so, uh, anyway, hello. I don't know. I'm, I'm like all hopped up on endorphins and stuff from working out, so um, you have to apologize for my smoldering silliness. <laughs> you, you, if you can do that without the, the little giggle time at the end, then you go to Hollywood and uh, you get paid real money for being a professional sarcastic person which is nice so maybe I'll kick the ceiling down there so anyway oh oh I did bench press today too so that's good my arms are gonna be tired tomorrow but maybe not I don't know they say every day is arms day but it takes about 36 hours 35 plus one to reboot your to heal torn muscle tissue which is what you're doing when you're building um, building your muscles you're actually tearing uh, with the arm you're actually tearing tissue and then regrowing it and it gets bigger and bigger until you get like the big lumpy um, Arnold Schwarzenegger biceps but people with really long arms like me get uh, more of an elongated bicep, it's real hard to get like super bulky because your arms are so long. So anyway, but my calf muscles are getting pretty good. It's, I don't know if it's hard to tell in this light, but I maxed out the some of the machines, like lifting 400 pounds or whatever with my, just my calf muscle exercises. So that's a lot. Um, anyway, it's now a four minute video and I'm going to go get in the shower, so, Mwah. sayonara from Polson, Montana, <laughs> this is Kermit the Frog here, today's workout was brought to you by the number a million, I was going to do a thousand rows, but I got tired and it stopped at a hundred, so maybe I can do a thousand a week, that's not a bad goal. 
it really works out your back and your arms. But the reason I had to stop is my quads started to cramp on the rowing machine just from, I don't know, a lot of exercise. So. I'll see you later, alligators.